Welcome back to Mark Edward Fishbach and Professor Sycamore find love in a hopeless place. They got candy last they time. They got candy last time. Today, hopefully, there's more than candy. <laughs> hopefully, it's... Cookies. Cookies. Cookies! <laughs> oh, let's go ahead. Let's get back to the fucking story. Okay. Oh, my God. D don't tease me like that, Babaka! <laughs> I'm serious. Anyway, were you able to get here by yourself? No, because I'm a fucking bitch can't read a map. <laughs> no, I got lost around the shopping center. A very nice boy named Shota Tadomi showed me the way here. I figured. Or I see. <laughs> were the civilians around there unfriendly to you? <laughs> oh, um, <laughs> what do we pick? Um, do you want to? Do you want to lie or do you want to say? It? I think we should just tell the truth. We're on a quest for love. We gotta be honest. We do. We gotta be honest with our lovers. Well, kind of. Don't get so down about it. Mr. Sakaki saw my head hanging low, so he gave me one of his candy. And by that, I mean his dick. <laughs> it was an adorable little red candy in the shape of a cat, and it seemed very. What's that word? Juxtapose. Juxtapose against Mr. Sakaki's big hand. I don't think they know what these <laughs> words mean, but okay. I let out a small giggle. Hee! <laughs> 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 we, <st> uh, <clears throat> we still haven't got them to understand yet. But as long as we can keep our exchanges with the Islanders positive, I'm sure that one day they'll come to understand us. I think so too. You're only saying that because you want my nuts. <laughs> I mean, that's why we have to succeed with our research. Why don't we all cheer up and get to work? Mr. Sakaki gave the scientists a brief pep talk and everyone started working again. I had only known the Sakaki who hung out with students and loved teasing people, but... Here he could manage the spots that needed it and could bring everybody together. Wait, 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 wait. Manage the <laughs> spots that... Needed it. That's he is the vice director. Nah, he ain't. Working for such a high-ranking lab, the face I saw on Mr. Sakaki was brighter than I've ever seen before. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Hey, hey. You should get over here for this. You need to get really close. Can you put a lot of meat on my curry? Oh. And can you make it on the sweet side? Wink, wink. Wink. I'm on a diet right Dude, now. Jesus Christ, it's not a female at all! <laughs> You're always saying that. If you don't eat properly, neither your head nor your body will work properly, you know? Also, you can't last in my <laughs> vigorous sex sessions. I mean, cracking jokes, jokes with, with women. women. Mr. Sakaki dropped his bag of candy and chocolate on the table. That night, everyone was eating together in the cafeteria for my welcoming party. The security guards were there, too. Everyone who worked in the lab was there, and we all made dinner together, like one big happy family. This, this the first, this the first time! <laughs> Yo, hey, this the first time I ever made curry in such a gigantic pot! <laughs> this the first, wow. <laughs> curry is the best when there's a lot of people to feed. And curry cooked in giant pots always tastes best. On top of that, there are very few people who don't like curry. Well, they don't matter, so... And that's where they end the episode. Oh, okay. Ooh! Alright, the love meter changes based on choices you make during the course of the story. Its level will affect the type of ending you will receive. Choose the answers that lead to the sweet ending. It says it remained the same, so we picked the wrong answer. We had to lie. Did we really? Yeah. We had to lie. We had God to, damn it. We had to be a lying. We had to be lying. I want to bang this dude. Like, come on. Well, we got to we got to lie better. We got to lie. We got we got to do things that we think Mickey Sugi's dead cousin will want us to do. Yep. But right. this is blind playthrough, so it don't matter. We'll just Yeah, right? It. Just with Mr. Sakaki's cheerful voice, one of the women making preparations finally got in the mood to make curry. Naturally. That's all. He can really fire up the team. Oh, boy. As I was admiring Mr. Sagaki's work, oh. one of the security guards approached me. 
Hey, it's uh, Nisha Doya. Yo! Fucking when he got swole and tall <laughs> and got rid of the fucking blonde bit at the front. <coughs> Alright, are right, you ready for the voice I got for this guy? Mm -hmm. <coughs> if I help you cut the vegetables, there's a lot, or I'll help you cut the vegetables. There's a lot of them, right? He was Lionel, Saito, Lionel, whatever, a Japanese American, or so I heard. Uh, but. It's fine. Hand me a cutting board and another knife. <laughs> I'm committing to this voice. Sure. <laughs> I handed him the knife and cutting board like he asked me, and he began to deftly cut the vegetables. Whoa! Some of the other female scientists came over to get a look at how Lynn handled the vegetables because they're all thirsty bitches. <laughs> I'm particularly good with knives. I can also slay bitches. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> Should I commit to that voice? You can do it. I'm absolutely going to do that. <laughs> what he said made him seem kind of dangerous, but with him helping, we got all the vegetables cut without a hitch. <laughs> Here he is again. For those who would like an apple and honey with their curry, let's uh they'll be over here. And the only one to put honey in their curry was Mr. Sakaki. The curry we made was quite delicious. Oh, this, this is your This place seems awfully lively for a laboratory. He just looks like he's so bored. It must be because of Mr. Sakaki, but I guess it's good for morale. Ren came over and talked to me. I nodded with a smile. Mr. Sakaki has been like that for a long time. He's really good at getting everyone wrapped up in his mood. That's hot. <laughs> oh, damn it, I burped. I'm sorry. That's nasty. <laughs> oh, that's right. You two are old friends, right? Linnell, who had been standing behind me for who knows I think it's how Lionel. Lionel. Linnell. Lionel. Linnens. <laughs> Linnens and things. Lionel. Lionel? Lionel. Okay. Lionel, who had been standing behind me for who knows how long, was watching Mr. Sakaki too, curry in hand. Mr. Sakaki, why do you keep saying his fucking name, Mr. Sakaki, so many times? <coughs> Mr. Sakaki, I was talking about Mr. Sakaki, <laughs> and I love Mr. Sakaki. <laughs> Mr. Sakaki had no idea we were talking about him, opened his mouth with a proud look, opened his mouth with a proud look on his face. How do you do that? I don't know. Oh, no. But Read this. about those candies I gave you before, it's actually Russian roulette. You never mentioned that. I wonder if mine is hers. Everyone took their candy in hand and went fail. Oh. Damn it. We got one pound of Hey, you know what? <laughs> what? Usually we do two episodes at a time, but I think since we're leveling up. We got 20 more minutes. Guess what? We're going to do another one before this episode ends. Let's do, do it. I have to see what's up with these candies. Yeah, what the fuck is up with this? We can't end on that cliffhanger. We'll end on a shittier cliffhanger. Whoever gets the bad one will get a special cotton candy maker. What? 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 <laughs> what's in the bad one? Wasabi? Generally, yes. That would be the case. But I thought that'd be mean. <laughs> It's something. It's some really strong honey. It's about a hundred times sweeter than normal oh, candy. Oh, okay. I was hoping this would be some like intense shit. It no, turns into like fucking nine nine nine. It's like if you eat the one candy, you're gonna have a bomb in you, and you gotta figure out a fucking math problem with Prisoner's Dilemma, and then you fucking can get out alive. Like not. There's some honey in this shit. <laughs> like what? I also put my semen in that one. Ew. <laughs> that actually sounds pretty tough. Mr. Sakaki patted everyone on the back and cheerfully lifted up his hands. Everyone is going to eat theirs at the same time. Of course I will too. Ready, set. Congratulations, I got the honey one. I won my own cotton candy maker. Fuck you all. <laughs> and Mr. Sakaki sighed. Everyone put the fearsome candy in their mouths. Fearsome candy? Ugh, that's too sweet. It looked like the victim turned out to be Ren. Oh, but no. Everyone, feeling relieved, gave a sympathetic look at Ren. <laughs> Nishima! Congratulations! Mr. You... Sakaki handed Ren his new cotton candy maker as he was still writhing from the sweetness. Writhing from what? the sweetness. What? This is for making sweets. 
I don't need this. I don't need it. <laughs> don't be so modest. We'll have cotton candy to, uh, yeah. We'll have cotton candy to get together in our fucking goddamn. We'll have a cotton candy get to, a cotton candy get together in your room next time. That's hot. <clears throat> what are you talking about? I never do something like that. Nonsense. Everyone in the cafeteria laughed loudly at their back and forth. Or, oh, now I like their back and forth. After all that commotion, the first day finally came to an end. <sighs> Having been able to talk to so many people at my welcoming party, it really seems like I'll fit in around here. I can't wait for Mr. Sakaki to appear at your front door before you go to bed. I got a good sense of the high morale from talking with everyone here. Tomorrow I'll finally be able to start working on the research for the new energy. My heart was racing just thinking about it. I laid down, but I just couldn't fall asleep. Feel like a little kid about to depart on some some big adventure. Adventure! I laughed at myself and I decided I'd go to the interior courtyard to get some fresh air. Oh. And like every other Otima game, that's when the love interest took gonna appear. Yeah, you're right. I thought I'd be able to relax in the gentle island breeze. <clears throat> wow, there <coughs> excuse me. Wow, there are so many stars. There were so many there were so many stars glittering in the sky that were usually hidden from my view by the light of the city. And I like to repeat stuff I just... Oh, ah, speaking of people! And look at that. It's the love interest, hey, like I right. said. Hey, hey, What, did you come out here for a smoke too, Mark? I turned to face the voice and saw Mr. Sakaki standing there smoking a cigarette. Because I'm Even cool. though his sprite doesn't show it at all, I'm just going to pretend he is smoking a cigarette. And look hey, at that. Hey, guess what? We will show what happens between the love interest, Ichigo, Ichiro, Ichigo, 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 Ichigo Kurosaki, and Mark Edward Fishbach <laughs> next time on DSG. <laughs> this is fucking magical, man. I'm, <laughs> I'm excited because we're about to get to the super sappy, lovey shit and all. Oh. We received 20 romance EXP again. Dude, so much romance. So much romance. Our love meter is still kind of small, though. Dude, we'll have to grow that love meter. We do. With special activities and special chesters. With Russian roulette candy. It's fucking th really? Ah, uh, just roll the fucking outro, Jesus Christ. <laughs>